In this workflow, we will show how to enhance the amplitude anomaly associated with the structure using the Fluid Contact Finder, FCF. So we will display the horizon presenting the anomaly. Right click on the 3D horizon, add and select the horizon demo 6 FS8 and OK. Open the attribute 3D. Select the similarity attribute. The input data is for deep steered median filter. Time gate minus 12 to 12 millisecond. Extension cross and the steering full. And the steering data will be the steering background. The output statistic will be minimum. And the output attribute name, we will call it minimum. Sim for similarity, then we add as a new, then we close the window. We will display this new defined attribute on the demo 6 horizon by going right click on the demo 6, add attributes, then we select minimum similarity attributes and OK. We can adjust the display change the color bar to similarity. Now we will create a polygon around the anomaly area. So we create a new polygon with the right click on the polygon. New, we give a name, bright spot. We can change the color and OK and we draw the polygon with the left mouse click. To be able to see an enhancement of the hydrocarbon versus water bearing anomaly while stacking along the control line, the polygon should include the area where we think both the hydrocarbon and the, the water bearing zones are. In addition, the polygon should be drawn within the fault blocks because the contact may vary across fault blocks. Then we go to the polygon and save. We can change the property with the right mouse click on the polygon. Go to property, change the thickness for example and the color and OK. We open the fluid contact finder from analysis. Fluid contact finder or from the icon here. Select the horizon demo 6 FS8. We keep the input cube for deep steered median filter. Go to volume subselection polygon and we select the bright spot that we just digitized. We keep all the default parameters and we OK. We leave the Z range around the horizon as the default. Keep for the first test the contour Z division, the entire Z range of the survey. This can be restricted later and we run. In the fluid contact finder analysis window, there are three types of display. Stack, the traces are stacked along the depth or time contour bins and plotted as a 2D profile. The display can be flattened on horizon. In this case, the stacked traces can be stored as a 3D volume. Then a single Z, the traces belonging to a single contour bin are displayed in a 2D viewer. And finally, directional, the fluid contact finder stacked amplitude at the horizon as a function of the distance to a selected position and the azimuth sector. So we select the display type stack, we uncheck flatten and run. 
The Fluid Contact Finder stack show a stack of traces along the common contour bins of the Horizon Demo 6 FS8. And the possible fluid contact is located where we observe the drastic amplitude change at the flank of the structure. Just to highlight that the anomaly enhancement is more obvious when the structure is not too flat, which is the case in this example. Hence it is difficult to stack along contour lines. This concludes the workflow where we show how to enhance the amplitude anomaly associated with the structure using the fluid contact finder.